After just a handful of emails and maybe one or two Skype calls, I was packing up my bags and getting ready to head off to the Lake District because there were some people flying in from Sweden that I personally was very excited to meet. The first was Johnny, a filmmaker responsible for a number of different projects, most namely the Pearl of Africa documentary which had just recently been sold to Netflix. And he was also being joined by his little brother Andreas who works with him at their production company in Sweden. They also happened to run the YouTube channel Creative North TV and they had sent me a message asking if I wanted to join them in creating some videos in England. Of course I said yes, the weather was looking good, the camper van had finally been fixed and I was ready to go. A flat battery? I didn't even know where to begin. I mean, an oil leak makes total sense. Fuel leak? Yeah, I've had a ton of them. But electrical problems? This was a first for me, and I had absolutely no idea what to do. So stranded on the side of the M6 motorway, I called in the recovery vehicle to come and pick up the camper van. While I was waiting, I got a phone call from Andre himself, saying that it had arrived in England, and after explaining my predicament, they came by to help me out. Unfortunately, due to Andre's age, he wasn't able to get the big car that he'd wanted, so he was stuck with a small Vauxhall Astra that was already crammed to the brim with camera equipment. And as the prognosis worsened on the camper van, with every attempt to fix it failing, it was looking more and more likely that I and my camera equipment were also going to have to try and fit in this thing. No luck then. The alternator had stopped charging the battery and there was no fixing it without the spare parts. So I waved goodbye to the bus, picking up as much equipment as I could possibly fit in the car and crammed myself into the back seat. It was now three o'clock in the morning. It would be easy to feel down in the dumps about the situation that I was in. I mean, my camper van was in some form of storage waiting to be sent back home. In my haste to get out all of the camera equipment, I had left behind the batteries for my sound recorder, which meant the chances are I wasn't going to be getting any audio of the people that I was traveling with. And most importantly, I still hadn't worked out how I was going to be getting home from the Lake District once we had finished our trip. But sometimes you just have to forget about all that nonsense. I was in a really beautiful part of the UK with absolutely beautiful weather and I was spending time with two people that I really looked up to in the world of filmmaking. Now although we hadn't got off to the best start, it had given us a good opportunity to get to know one another and we had formulated some big plans for the next 48 hours. Let's just hope that nothing else goes wrong. 